Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a mix of seven free, useful, and chill apps for students on both desktop and phone. Most of the phone apps are available on both iOS and Android. So let's get started. Thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring this video today. The first app is Dawn, which is a minimalist calendar app that you can use to track any events, tasks, and reminders. It has a nice and simple aesthetic, and it's super easy to just view your tasks on a daily, weekly, and monthly layout. You can easily set new tasks and also make subtasks or to-dos under them, which you can then tick off as you go. I think this would be great for those who want a separate calendar for school or work. For instance, you could just use this to track all your homework, exams, and other due dates. It also comes in dark mode, which is always a plus. Overall, it's a very simple calendar that is easy to use, functional, and aesthetically pleasing. Next is a website called I Miss My Library. This website tries to emulate the ambient environment of a library by offering soft background noises like rain, turning pages, etc. So once you set a to-do list, you can start playing around with the ambience, turning the volume up and down, turning sounds on and off. I found it so fun that they also have the sound of writing on an iPad, which for some people is kind of a source of ASMR. For a website like this, I do encourage you to spend some time playing around with the volumes of each sound to create your perfect ambient library environment. That way, you can make something that is not too distracting, but it's enough for you to stay focused on your work. The next app is Mimo. If any of you are interested in learning how to code, this app is really useful for fitting short and sweet coding lessons into your day, especially when you're on the go. You can choose to learn web development or Python and set your goals for daily learning sessions. And right away, you jump into the lessons. It's interactive and requires you to answer questions and type in code instead of just reading. And because of that, I found it to be a very fun and engaging way of learning the different elements of coding, especially as a beginner. You can also start a playground where you can practice playing around with different codes to apply your learning. And there is also a handy glossary for you to refer to at any time for any coding jargon you need to become familiar with. Next up is Grammarly, which is an all-in-one digital writing assistant that you need to download, especially if you're a college student who's got a lot of assignments or you're heading into exam season and you need to save time. Grammarly is actually now a desktop application that you can quickly install and easily integrate into your workflow across many different applications that you're probably already using as a student, like Google Docs, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. It saves you time spent editing by analyzing your text and giving you spelling and grammar suggestions. You can even tailor the suggestions they give you by using the setting goals feature that lets you make sure you're getting the right message across. And all these features I've mentioned are free. On top of that, in the Grammarly editor, you can even find synonyms right on the page just by double-clicking a word so you never need to open a new tab for a thesaurus. And if you have paper requirements, you can conveniently check your word count to track your progress. This tool works where you work, so I really enjoy it for not only papers, but also when I'm sending emails to important people and want to make sure that I sound professional and confident. It certainly saves me a lot of time when there's other things that I need to be doing. So with midterms and assignments piling up, you can succeed in school with tools like Grammarly. It's free, so why not? Go to grammarly.com slash Studies to sign up for a free account, and if you'd like to get extra features, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off to help you save time and work more efficiently. Next is Waterfall, which is available on both iOS and Android. Waterfall is a water and hydration tracking app that encourages you to be mindful of your drink intake. Based on your body, you'll get a daily target for water intake and throughout the day, as you add drinks to your log, you can track your goal progress. There are lots of different types of drinks you can add, including coffee, water, juice, beer, tea, etc. And you can also create a custom drink that might not already be on the list. With the custom drinks, you can get quite creative and even adjust the hydration level since not all liquids you consume hydrate you as much as you think they do. With Waterfall, you can also set reminders for you to drink water based on your wake up time, bedtime, and how often you want to be reminded. You can also participate in some health challenges which encourage you to drink enough water for a number of consecutive days. If you're a student, I think this is a fun way to be more mindful about what you drink since you might be drinking a lot of coffee and not enough water, and adding them to your log will hopefully help you become more aware of what your body needs. Next is Two Dots, which to me is a stress relief game that is quite similar to Candy Crush. It's a really simple game of connecting dots. You can kind of just zone in on it and forget other things that might be stressing you out. I do think it's a stimulating game as well since you have to complete the goals within a certain number of moves, but I mostly enjoy how satisfying and chill it is. If you play this game, let me know what level you are. 
Last is Rainy Scope, which is another website for ambient noise. It offers a variety of environments, particularly seasons, which then changes the type of ambient sounds being played. So for autumn, you'll have rain, winter, you'll have snowfall, etc. I like that you can also hide the user interface if you just want a calm and relaxing background to work to. You can also set an hour-long timer in the top corner if you need that for your study sessions. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.